here we are we've just pulled out the legs from the clamps and i've had a quick look at them they're all good nothing's changed they're pretty strong and solid um but i just wanted to go quickly through this this process previously we'd made let's have a quick look we made an original template uh we cut the wood oversize we put this to the wood we trimmed it back so that it was copy cut by the the copy cutter in the router that piece was then glued together with some free three mil ply three four mil ply okay which was in between that was then machined back and then that was then glued on like now to another piece of wood or mdf which was oversized slightly oversized so there's a slight step now as you might say around this of about two to three mil that's oversized and the idea now is that i use this original uh, first template that i made or the first part of the leg which is which has been um cleanly cut back to the original template and now use that with the copy cutter to actually trim off the rest of the mdf so that it's perfect so it's just basically uh, smooth all the way around just like this one is which has been trimmed okay and then that is the leg as you might say it's very strong all i've got to do is trim up the corners give it a light sand here and there as you might say just check it for quality make sure there's no bumps or little sort of irregularities in in the leg and then i'm ready to seal it up and from this i can then make a template uh, to make the marquetry or the parquetry for this particular leg and that's where i'm up to right now so let's get on and you'll see me machining up the second part of this leg on the uh trimmer router cutter on the uh, router table and uh let's uh let's go over to that then hi there this is a little video on a little tip uh for routering um this particular router is a technically a trim router from my orbit it's not very powerful but very simple and very basic and i've made a basically uh a router table um that allows me to put a fence on and adjust the fence and there's a hole here for dust extraction there's a pipe to go to my vacuum cleaner and this is generally how most people have they have a fence a router cutter uh, and uh, an extraction point okay and that's okay some people like me will use a, a straight edge or a ruler to sometimes project and make a a, a line on the wood in com or a piece of wood in comparison with a with a copy cutter and that's okay Now, for me, uh, when I was making the original template, I had a lot of straight edges on the outside uh, for the template. But when it came to the inside, it was getting a bit more tricky and I couldn't do it in, in one operation. Uh, I had to do each one, each one, each one. OK. And when I was making the copies from this particular piece to do the same operation with four or five legs would be a lot. So what I use, I use my copy cutter and I can do the outside and the inside in one operation that's fantastic the disadvantage is is if i've got an extraction here on a fence i can only do the outside edges i can't do the inside because my fence is in the way but there is a solution for this for the dust extraction and that's this little this little thing here that i made basically it's a little pipe with a mouth in with a slight back on it. i'll show you some pictures up, up above and this goes into uh, the, the hole, right, so it's nice and tight. And it allows me to machine there for this. And what happens is because of the rotation, tend, what happens is the dust tends to get be ejected to the back. And usually you would find that all here is covered with dust and all this side is clean. Well, if you put this little piece in like so, as it spins your machine, the dust goes to the back and gets extracted. And the mouth is open enough that you can do quite open and angular sort of cuts without compromising the dust extraction uh, system that you're using. And all I did was make it out of some PVC pipe. Uh, you know, I did different ones for different sizes of holes 
for small, large and medium, etc. And I put some plastic on top so I can actually see through and see what I'm doing because most of the time the cut is in the middle. Anyway, this is a little tip for if you've got like open work or the sheets like I have to do for your hand router, for your router table. It's very simple, it's cheap and cheerful, but it's really effective. And I wanted to share this tip with you, uh, those people who might follow on and do machining or router work uh, like this. Okay, so I shall see you in the next video.